Oh, shit. Yo. We're playing Alien Vendetta, bitches. A legendary wad, to say the very least. Alien Vendetta was made in 2001. Uh, they updated it in 2002, and they just changed, like, two maps, I think. It wasn't very major. There weren't very major differences in the wad, as far as I know. It's just time to get into it. They changed a lot of things, even in the menu. You can see, like, the, the font or the text, or whatever it's called. It's all different. Still playing with beautiful Doom. So we are still going to have the visual enhancements, but this wad looks fucking gorgeous as far as I remember. Like, this area looks pretty cool. Oh, shit. You know what we forgot? We forgot the logo to the wad. Aha! Immediately, you can see the, the huge level in... Uh, the huge difference in level detail. Level design looking much fucking crisper here. Loving it. I have a feeling I'm going to die a lot in this wad just because of the way it's designed and all that shit. It's much more difficult from what I remember. This level demand or this this wad demands more out of you. So you have to be up for the challenge. Oh, what? You can go down here? That's weird. Double secret? Okay, very strange. Triple secret! Yo! Come on. Come on. Come on! If you play Alien Vendetta on Ultra Violence, you're gonna have a bad time. Yo, guess what difficulty this is, my dude. Okay, I... I thought I knew how to get the secret, but it's been some it's been some time. It's been years since I've played this wad, so we're gonna just move on. Uh, I don't quite remember, I suppose. There you go. One map down. That was called Sunset, apparently. By Martin Allen Hunsager. Um, how old is this? This wad is from 2001, uh, but then they released an updated version in 2002. I'm playing the update playing the more modern version. Rusty Rage by Anders Johnson. So Anders Johnson, I was saying at the beginning of the stream, he's the guy who, like, pioneered this whole wad. Oh, hello. They also released in 2016 or 2015, like, fairly recently, a tiny little expansion to this wad. Uh, it's called Black Label, I think. Black Label. Oh, bitch. Anyway, this level design is revered as being very, very good. In fact, this is one of the one of the very few wads that you're allowed to speedrun, like in competitive, uh, compet in or whatever it's called. So I don't know. It's a very good wad. Oh shit, we're good. Let me see them aliens. I've never, you know, had the desire to do that. I did use to speedrun Doom rather shittily. Is that an adjective? Shittily? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, speedrunning Doom's kind of a... I don't know, it's a love-hate thing. I, I really enjoyed it, but I was very, very bad at it. Just like speedrunning in general. Oh, fucking Archfile, great. Guys, Nero's back. And he doesn't... He forgot how to save. Well, that's a lie. He never knew. In order to forget something, you have to know how to do it. Having to... Having to kill any monster, any Doom 2 monster with just a regular shotgun and not a super shotgun, that is fucking ass. You can have me on record saying that. I hate this shit. You definitely need the super. It's like a party in my mouth. <laughs> Wait, what? That reminds me of like, I don't know why, but you guys know the story of like Rumpelstiltskin? Right? The whole caveat, the whole catch with him is that you have to, like, know his name in order to, like, uh, beat him or something. I don't remember the story very well, <laughs> but I'm I'm trying to draw an analogy to something I'm remembering rather poorly. Who? You know, Rumpelstiltskin. Do you guys not know who I'm talking about? Ruffles Foreskin, yes! No, it's like an old fairy tale. Not a fairy tale. What do you call it? It's like a children's story. Rumpelstiltskin, you know? It's kind of like Hansel and Gretel. It's like an old, like, uh, fairy tale. There was some guy who, like, used to... Sp he would... What's the thing with Rumpelstiltskin? I don't fucking remember. He would spin... 
like silk into gold or something? Or hair? He would spin hair into gold? I don't know. Google it. <laughs> Rumble's horse skin. Uh, no, 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 no. Guys, I'm not crazy, okay? I didn't make this thing up. It's like an actual story about, like, they used to tell children. It's, uh, whatever. I don't know. I don't really like, like, junk. I guess you can call it junk food. Or, like, those kinds of, like, snack foods. I'm not really a big, not really a big proponent of those, unfortunately. I'm not saying they're, like, terrible, but they're just, they're not for me, you know? If I had to pick between the two, honestly, I would pick Cheetos over Doritos. Sorry, I know it's an unpopular opinion, but that's why you guys come to the stream, to hear the hot takes. It's not like cranberry juice is any healthier, to be honest. That's just pure sugar. <laughs> yeah, but it, I don't, I'm not drinking it because it's healthy, Hazmatty. Believe me, I'm not drinking cranberry juice because it's quote unquote healthy or whatever. I, I just like this shit, okay? I drink what I like. Cheetos suck. They get stuck in your teeth. <laughs> I mean, a lot of things get stuck in your teeth, Loco. Let's let's be honest. How far apart are your teeth? <laughs> there was a cat in our neighborhood when I was growing up. He was a Siamese cat. He looked nothing like a Cheeto, but his name was Cheeto. He was like gray and like black. He was a Siamese cat and his name was Cheeto. He was a cool little dude and then he got old and died. Now I'm sad. R.I.P. Cheeto. Megasphere there. How do I have 17 health? Who's in charge of tracking my my health, my status? You're fired. You give that name to a cat like Garfield. Nobody can beat Garf. Big man Garf. Soda suck. <laughs> Soda suck. That's blasphemy. I don't care if his body is gre isn't greasy. It is now. <laughs> Oh, there's one straggler, two stragglers, three stragglers, four stragglers! Uh, oh, I thought that was a... For a second, I thought that was a box of bullets. <laughs> and it was just a spiky little bush. Whoa, little bush sounds like something else. There we go, 100%. That's Rusty Rage by Andrews Johnson. Doom 1 music. Whoa, look at this area. Oh, shit, this looks great. It's so fucking cute. But anyway, yes, this uh, this wad is not has not disappointed so far. Like, look at this area; it's so well designed. Nice attention to detail. Look at these sectors; it looks fucking great. I may or may not have worn a like jacket with shorts before, <laughs> like a total dumbass. Hey, you know what? I'm an adult. I, I'm comfortable admitting that now. So this wad came out in 2002, right? I'm pretty sure this wad was voted the, the best wad of that year. In 2002, it made the top 10 with being the number one spot. So it was the best of the best, apparently. Okay, this wall texture. This one looks kind of messed up. That looks like a mistake right there. Oy! Cool little, little waterfall outdoor area. A little sky showing out in the background. Plus, you're also getting a little bit of... Uh, what is that called? Bloom, I think, or something? Yeah, the, the lighting is, like, affected by the settings I have on GZ Doom. So it's not quite vanilla. It looks very nice. If the if the line depths are too long... <laughs> look at that! Look at the ship in the, in the shipyard! The MS Nightmare. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we got... Some freaking Hell Knights. A pair of them. And then there's only three monsters left, so we're almost done. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I thought there was just two, but they're... Bad news comes in threes, right? Isn't that what they say? I have a feeling we're not going to find very many secrets in this wad, unfortunately. Oh, no clipping? Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Everyone knows I'm a cheater now. Seclusion by Matthias Berggren. Oh, look, it, it's connected. That's fucking sick, dude. So cool. Also, I don't know what this music is, but there's 289 monsters. Jesus. Come on in, boys. The water's warm. Wait, what? Good IWAD design. Connecting exits and entrances. 
exits and entrances. Oh, yeah, I can speak. <laughs> I'm definitely not drunk. I'm not slurring my words, okay? Shells and that's what? Okay. Oh, there's a secret shotgun or a, <laughs> a super shotgun. Fuck. I said the wrong thing. Okay, honest question. Real question here, folks. Can you buy at the store? Does anybody know if you can buy pear juice? You've got apple and orange and cranberry and all that all that weird shit, right? But can you buy pear juice? Anyone? Anybody know? You look like a motherfucking pear. Wow. Thanks, Loco. No clue about the pear juice? I want some fucking pear juice, dude! I want to drink a pear! E1M5. There we go. Thank you, Anna. See, you guys are my Doom experts. I love this shit. I can, like, make a reference and... Make it sound half-assed, but then you guys freaking come in clutch and give me all the information I, I should have been detailing myself. Oh, hell. There's nothing wrong with being a cultist. Nero, 2020. Ow! Boner. Got him. Aha, I see all the secrets. I weep. It's all so easy. Let's go back and hunt some secrets real quick before we... Actually, I want a fucking backpack. That is one of the shittiest things you can do in a Doom Wad, is withhold a backpack from a player. That's fucked, dude. That's like not even, that's completely messed up. Also, something I always thought was really odd is that, you know, even though the Baron of Hell, oh, that double though, yo. That was pretty satisfying, I loved it. Hey, let's put a bunch of imps here to eat all your ammo. See you later, asshole. Can I get the triple? Can I get the triple? Oh! <laughs> me and me, <laughs> me and the chain gunner were freaking double teaming that hell night. That sounds never mind, let's not go there. And there's only one monster left. How much you wanna bet it's a shitty arch vial in this in this end door right here? Look at this sector. What is this? Slithering snakes. I don't know what the fuck that is. I fucking called it! Shitty arch vial! Anything back here? Nope. That was a bloody fucking exit switch right there. <laughs> Crimson Tide. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's on their period. When it comes to map design, I feel like uh, if I were to ever make something... Oh, I fucking should have kept an eye on this guy. If I were to ever make like a Doom Wad or something that people would play or, or whatever... I always feel like the minor details, like this kind of stuff, like stuff so like minuscule and like almost insignificant. I'm really bad at that. Like the minor details. I have a, I can come up with a good general plan or like a general idea of what I want to do. But then like the fine details is where I lose sight of uh, creativity, I guess you could say. Ammo. Also, ammo conservation is something I should probably be paying attention to. Pension. I can't fucking speak today. Guys, every time I speak, I sound like a child. <laughs> I have the brain of, like, a nine-year-old. It's ridiculous. Hazmati, I can't wait to highlight the part where you said I'm better at Doom than Hippocat and Android. God, that just... Oh, that's fucked. Okay, and let's use... Oh! No! No! <sighs> so, fun fact. Here's a pro tip for you guys. If you have a Pain Elemental, get right up next to him. Like, right up in his fucking face. He can't spawn... Um, uh, Lost Souls, which is his only means of attack. So you could basically, like, lock him in a certain spot and he can't damage you. So you just fucking kill him. Because he's a piece of shit. And then, when you when you kill him, you're supposed to move into that space so that it, there are no Lost Souls that spawn. Like, that one didn't just fucking damage me for no reason. You're my best friend. And I love Lisa so much. Anders Johnson. All right. Good old Anders. Who could forget that lovable oaf? <laughs> that, sound, that sounds like an insult. Let's not call him that. <laughs> okay, what is this music? Why did that sound so close? Oh, the, the pinkies got damaged. Fuck you! 
Also, why the hell do I not have a backpack yet? I'm gonna start griping about that a little bit more often now because I should have one at this point. Fuck you. Why didn't I? Oh, I just fucking, oh, miracles. No, don't hit me. Okay. Oh, my phone just vibrated. Let me see. I'm, I'm waiting on information for maybe another late start tomorrow. So let me check that. No, it was just a news alert. Something boring about some homicide. I don't care. Oh. But, uh, yeah, that's... Oh! That's basically what happened. Fuck off! Wow, all my health just fucking gone. Great. Pyrrhus are the dweebs of the Doom community? Yeah, I agree. But then, like, people who are into, like, brutal Doom are, like, the annoying assholes. You're not running this on a vanilla compatible source engine? What the fuck is wrong with you? You subhuman piece of trash. Yeah, fuck him up. Oh, damn it. Oh! Alright, let's not die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Yes. I'm the best at this game. I'm the Doom Master. <laughs> oh. You guys ever play like video games like first person shooters? And like as you're playing the game, you're like dodging. So like if you move out of the way of like a bullet or something, a projectile. Your body actually physically moves out of the way, too. Did anyone else do that when they were playing video games? My dad used to do that all the time. Then I found myself doing it a lot when I was younger. Plus one for Nero because he said Mancubi and not Mancubisis. But that sounds funnier when you say that. I'm afraid I'm going to blow my ass up in front of this pillar with the rocket. I really don't want to do that. Mancubisis. Mancubus buses. <laughs> Thank you, bussy. Oh, I regret saying that. Wow. <laughs> dodge, dodge. Okay. I think they're going to fight some of these guys. Fuck you. Fucking, I got to do all the hard work around here. When is Doom Guy going to get a break? He kills all the demons all day long. He gets no gratitude. When is someone going to just pat him on the back and say, good job, that's all he ever wanted? That map took me 30 minutes? Gross. All right, but this is map seven, so if anybody knows anything about Doom, you know that map seven revolves around Mancubi and um, Arachnotrons. So this could be a bit of an arena fight. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, fucking hell. Wow. Okay, right off the bat. Can't win. Can't win. Fuck! Oh, I didn't save. Wow. What a fucking shitter. Question of the century. When will this man learn to save? The answer. Never. Who is shooting at me? I saw something. Oh, it's a, just a... A lonely little imp. You worm. I will fucking end you. There must be a mod that exists that changes, like, the hitboxes of the demons. So that, like, if you get, like, headshots, they, like, do more damage and stuff. Like, come on. Someone has to have made that, right? No? That'd be a pretty neat idea for a mod if somebody could code that. Obviously, I don't have the skills or the time to do that kind of stuff. Doesn't sound pure to me. What? What are you talking about? Are you, are you being a purist... Hey now, Loco, you know what happens to purists on this stream, don't you? Banned. Okay, only three monsters left. And they're all Arachnotrons. Good, we're almost done. This guy's slip sliding away. Oh, he stopped. What? Why did that damage me? I think this wad...
kills you after a certain amount of maps, so you have to start from pistol. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Does it? No, I guess not. So, sometimes Doom maps... They, they kill you at the end of the level so that you, you have to start the next map with a pistol start. You lose all your weapons and your... I think it's just weapons, though. You don't lose your ammo. Some maps do that. Some wads do that. It's really fucked. Also, we spent exactly two hours on this wad. Look at that. Look at the time. Two hours exactly. Through all six, six maps or seven, seven maps, actually. That's pretty fucked.